Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm one of the moderators for the Flashforge official user group on Facebook. And the company have very kindly sent me this, which is as yet unreleased. It's a Flashforge Finder 3. Um, so let's open it up and have a look. First up on the top, it's, it seems to be flexible. So the magnetic bed and then the flexible sheet for that. Option number one, a little USB flash drive. out of the box. Let's open it up. Power cable. Seems well packaged. No issues at all so far. Cardboards hold the extruder in place. Oh, oh, little goodie bag. Right, inside here, there is some disappearing purple glue stick which um, I've not long bought I just I've been using the Yoohoo Magic um, I will leave links to open in the description so check those out a spatula for removing prints again another tool I've not really got I've got the classic ones that screwdriver I'm not exactly sure what this is. Oh, it's a tiny little cleaning needle. Um, I do have a pack of those as well, which um, again, I'll link ones I use. And then also in here is a few little wrenches, some white grease, a nice little set of Allen keys, a spare nozzle, and a spare um, knob for levelling, I believe, and another little screwdriver. Well, a little bit of, uh, looks like transparent red filament, just to give it a blast, so we've got plenty of filament. This I'll show you in a minute is the spool holder. And that's it for that lot. Uh, included, you have the glass plate installed. Fortunately, that all looks in perfect condition. Uh, you've then got a magnetic um, PEI, is it, um, sheet? I'm not sure how that connects. I'm guessing these little catches here um, come off and then you can just remove the glass plate. I um, don't know yet, we'll have a look. Uh, very nice, they've included a spatula, um, always useful. Uh, cleaning rod, as I showed you earlier, this is what I've been using. Uh, Pictures off, off Amazon. 
uh, little tweezers and then a selection of cleaning rods. These worked really well so that looks very similar to what these are. So that's that and then obviously the glue we've included and the one I usually use, the oops, trying to do it from one hand, the magic stick blue. There you go. Uh, that is a 21 gram which is a pretty standard size for 3D printed uh, for twit sticks and so on. White grease, this is the the grave knob is I believe goes underneath for leveling. And then the other one looks like the nozzle. Duh, I can't see if there's a looks like there is a nozzle already. Oops. Yeah, there's a nozzle already in place. So that is just a spare. USB stick, I'll have a look at what's on that on the setup. And then just a little selection of tools. Um, I do want to show you this thing though, which is slightly different for this machine because it's not got a built-in spool holder, but it does give you this as an option. Spool holder that comes included with the machine and on the back of the machine, you've got a little slot to pop that into. And as you can see, that will hold your filament outside of the back. Um, I personally will be using a dryer box, so if I just shuffle that out of the way, you can see that again, it gives a good height and clearance for the filament to come into there without too much bend and twist. Um, I may even fit a little bit of um, tubing just so to protect it. Um, but if you do go with the actual spool holder, you can see there that as long as it's level, which it probably isn't, it gives plenty of clearance. Um, both to the nozzle and to the ground below and this of course is the flash forge uh, light coal peel. Righty, so the actual um, printer, I am going to get the Adventure 3, put it side by side to show you those um, and then we can put this in place and go from there. Okay, talking about comparisons, the Finder 3 versus the Adventurer 3. I will be doing a full video running down on specs, build areas, and also some prints. I've built um, printed those on the Adventure 3 this week, and I'll be doing the same prints on the Finder. Um, eventually, I'll probably add a link to video up here somewhere. So go and check that one out. If not, like, comment, and subscribe, and, so, and hit that notifications bell. That's what I say. Um, to make sure you don't miss that video. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be splitting these up into various videos. This one is the unboxing, we'll then do the setup and another video with comparisons um, before we get on to other stuff. So there is the size difference. You can see it is a little bit bigger. Um, I want to say massive dif difference in width. Uh, depth is, a, a, I think, four centimeters deeper but there is probably a 10-15% height difference there. Um, but there's a 33% difference in there because the Adventure 3 build area is only 6 inch and the Finder 3 is almost 8 inch. It's 195 by 190 by 200 millimeters. So very close to an 8 inch square build area. There you go, find a free, all plugged in, ready to go. I will be running through the setup in my next video. Pink. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this. See you next time.